Minecart and yeah, I'm reviewing a mobile game that just came out. And because this game just came out, obviously it will change down the line. There will be, there will be some minor updates, but also some major updates. And when those major updates come, I'll make a follow-up review talking about those major updates. I'll talk about talk more about that stuff later. But uh, yeah, this game in question is called the Dragon Pal. Now, if you're like me, you discover this game by the ads. And if you look at the ads, yeah, you could definitely understand how they got people's attention. Now, do note that this ad is not the only reason I downloaded this game. So allow me to explain my main reason. Main reason is because I like dragons. And can you blame me? Dragons are essentially just dinosaurs that can fly and breathe fire or water, or ice, whatever elements they have. But uh, yeah, I really like dragons, so I decided to download this game. So the game is mostly a top-down shooter roguelite. Now, I, have, I haven't really played that many roguelites. The only ones that I have played have been on mobile, which really does remind me I need to play Enter the Gungeon and The Binding of Isaac. So, uh, you know, there's, there's, there's that. Uh, but yeah, uh, besides that, to get back on topic, yeah, it is a top-down shooter roguelike where you play as a dragon rider and a dragon. Now, every day, now most of the game is 2D, but the dragon rider and a few of the attacks happen to be 3D, which I really like that. I really, I really do like the mashing up of uh, 2D and 3D, especially in video games. I really, I really like that. It's interesting. I like how like how it shows like the two art forms interacting. The only reason I said that part is I wanted to sound fancy, but, uh, yeah, I, I really do like that part, but, yeah, for the story, it's, it's pretty basic, like, it's mostly just, like, having to stop some sort of evil demon lord from taking over the world, and, again, the reason why I say it's basic is because I've heard so many stories that are, oh, we need to stop, insert evil bitch here from taking over, insert thing here and I've, I've just heard so many of those stories they just they just don't really do anything for me but just because i say that doesn't mean i dislike the game no 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 i quite like the game actually it's it's, it's pretty decent but again i'll get to my i'll mention more of it in my pros and cons but uh yeah uh now this is a con that i should get out of the way because you know it's it's a mobile game but yeah obviously there are microtransactions now I actually do now now I actually do need to make a new system for how I review games that have microtransactions, which I'll do later on. But uh yeah, this game has microtransactions, but thankfully thankfully they aren't too bad. It's mostly just in-game currency. Again, I, I really I need to add something to my uh, review system that tackles microtransactions, but uh yeah, just getting that out of the way. So, uh, yeah. Now let's go to the prawns. Or, <laughs> the pros, not the, not the prawns. Okay, uh, yeah, for the pros, I really do like the art style. It's pretty cute, especially for the main dragon. It's, I, I really do like the main dragon. That's another pro, uh, the main dragon. Really cute. And yes, there, well, yes, there really isn't any voice acting. Like, I imagine, I imagine she has, like, some... I don't know, I imagine she has some sort of, like, sweet but crazy high-pitched voice or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, um, I also... I, I also find... I also really like how, like, you can use the enemy's attacks to attack them back, which... This is actually connected to a con that I will explain when I get to the cons, but, uh, yeah. And also, the game is quite fun, honestly. Well, especially, especially early on. But now, let's get to the cons. Obviously, I mentioned it, microtransactions, but thankfully, they're not too bad. Like, they're, they are really just a currency, but hey, it's, it, it, it's still annoying to see them, but honestly, it's not, it's not really that bad. Uh, another thing that is a con are these magic key things, which you can only seem to unlock by repeating levels. 
and it's just repeating levels. You can't do, you can't get them from time trials or chests. It's just, I don't know, I just, I just feel like it would be nice to have more ways to unlock these mystical keys, or the mystical keys that would allow you to unlock levels. And now let's get to the third thing, which involves the ability to use your enemy's attacks to attack them back. Now, this isn't really a negative for me, but it might be a negative for some other people, but basically, what the dragon can do, they gain this ability after the uh, first level, but what the dragon can do is they can swallow the enemy's attacks to fire them right back. Now that's cool, but this is where the problem comes in, because when you when the dragon swallows the attack, you can hear the sound effects of, like, you can hear a swallow sound effect. Now, you may think, oh, why is that bad? Well, um, the thing is, um, when you defeat a boss, the dragon roars them. It, it's, it's not explicit, but yeah, when you defeat a boss, the dragon roars them, and it even comes with sound effects, and when you first defeat the boss, and when you defeat the boss for the first time, you even see them be digested. Again, it's not explicit, but still, it's just, you know, obviously, like, okay, to, okay, to explain, okay, before I say anything else, while yes, I'm not into Vor, I don't hate it, but obviously, Vor is a turnoff for a decent amount of people, and honestly, I, I don't blame them, because, you know, uh, usually, Usually, Vor really isn't seen in a good light. It's not controversial, it's just, you know, really, really freaking weird. But, uh, yeah. So those are the only three problems I have. The third one not really being a problem to me, but possibly being a problem to other people who don't want to, uh, see something that resembles Vor. But, you know, besides that, uh, yeah. Um, the game, again, like I mentioned, the game is pretty fun. And while, well, yes, the story is pretty basic, and the theme is also pretty basic, it's still a fun time. So I give this, so I give this game a 5 out of 7. It had some problems, but hey, I could see them being changed later down the line. Especially since, again, like I mentioned, this game literally just came out, so obviously there's going to be some major changes down the line. And like I mentioned, whenever those major changes come, I'll make a follow-up review where I talk about the major changes, and I'll share my updated thoughts. Alright, so now, now that the review part of the video is over, let me, let me just uh, talk with all of you, because I feel like... I, I don't know, I just feel like I haven't really just sat down and talked to anyone, but, uh, yeah, so, recently, I have started, or tried to start to take better care of myself, because I kind of realized that I wasn't really taking that much care of myself, like, I, I'm not really that, uh, sadly, like, I'm not great at dental hygiene, or hygiene in general, I, I know that's gross, but I'm, I'm trying my best to hopefully fix that problem. Uh, another problem I've been having is procrastination. Now, obviously, procrastination is what's stopping me from making a bunch of things that I want to make, so uh, hopefully, hopefully I can uh, fix that problem, which is why I actually am working on three videos today. This, this the first one being review. And the other two will also technically be reviews, but not... Yeah, you'll see when I upload them. But, uh, yeah. Um, and also, there's the fact that I'm getting very close to graduating high school. So, there's that. And also the fact that I may or may not be getting a part-time job. Because, you know, obviously, um... If you don't know, I'm not... I, like, I'm not able to get paid by YouTube yet. But, you know, if you want to financially support me, you could go to my Patreon. But hey, you know, that's optional. Any form of support is always welcome. But yeah, like I mentioned, I have been trying to take better care of myself, trying to, like, beat my procrastination, and also still trying to focus on school because, again, I'm almost done with it. But, uh, yeah, um, now with the, uh, now with the microtransactions part of my reviews, yeah, when I review something that happens to have microtransactions, I'm going to have some sort of system that depends on how many microtransactions, like, well, okay, for example, if a game has microtransactions and it's only currency, then that's like, 
then that's like one strike or something. I'm still working on the name for like tallies or something. But if a game has a bunch of microtransactions in them that's from a company that's known for that, like a game by Ubisoft or EA or Tencent, then yeah, it would be a lot of strikes because those companies are bastards. But uh, yeah, um, anyways, so uh, hopefully I'm going I'm to try to be more active. On YouTube, I really want to make more videos. I want to try and get myself out there more, and uh, yeah. So, anyways, um, uh, yeah. If the if the people who made the game I talked about are watching this video, because obviously this is one of the earliest reviews that the game has gotten. Um, hi. Look, I look. Look. When I say the neg when I say the negative things about the game, that doesn't mean I hate the game. In fact, I really do like the game. And hey, you know, if, if we if you ever want to work with someone to do a crossover for the game, you know, just just j just hit me up. Just just hit me up, and we can maybe figure something out. Who knows? But uh, yeah. Uh, so, anyways, that was it for this video. Make sure you all subscribe and like for more. And I'll see you all later. Peace out, home guards, and goodbye.